Today's collection selection is the CRKT PEAT. CRKT, as you know, is Columbia River Knife and Tool. And this new PEAT, spelled P-I-E-T, or maybe it's pronounced Piet, I don't know. But uh, it's a design by uh, Jesper Voxnes, or maybe it's Jesper Voxnes, I don't know. But uh, he's an amazing uh, designer from Northern Europe, and uh, you know him. And this is uh, one of his latest designs. This thing is only 30 bucks from CRKT. It is GRN 8CR13 MOV and aluminum. But it's a whole lot of other things, and I'll tell you about that in a second. But uh, this knife came out new for uh, in 2020, and I admired it greatly in all the videos I saw. And then recently, Women Carry Knives uh, put up a video review of this, and I commented about uh, what a handsome knife I think this is. And she sent it to me, and I thought that was just so very cool. Um, so this is a part of my collection that will never leave. It's a gift knife and uh, a very generous uh, gesture as well. Um, but aside from that, this is a really great knife. It's super light. It's linerless, GRN, uh, glass reinforced nylon. Um, and by the way, I really like that blue anodized aluminum backspacer. Um, the knife is very sharp, or the blade is very sharp. It's kind of thick, but fully flat ground. And uh, I just used it this weekend to open up those, uh, to cut those plastic straps uh, that bind boxes together. We got some window treatments and I was going all around the house to the windows, putting up new shades and cutting them open. And I had a, a variety of knives with me, as you may imagine, uh, to do the chore. This one just sailed through those straps uh, like no one's business. It required no horsing at all. You just kind of glided right through it. So this is a great little user knife. Haven't had to uh, sharpen it yet. People trash 8CR, but you know, uh, realistically, it's it's fine stuff. Um, uh, the the uh, opening hole is nicely chamfered, sort of lozenge shaped. And uh, what else did I want to show you? Oh yeah, look at this. What a nice detail. Look at that deep carry pocket clip. And look at how nicely nestled those flat screws sit in there. So in and out of the pocket, it's a pure joy. Uh, at this point, I'm kind of like, uh, I can't believe it when people use the domed screws anymore uh, with, with these loop over clips. It's like, uh, have you not watched a YouTube video? Uh, no one likes those domed screws popping up. It's a, it's a buzz kill, you know, and it, it really does tear your pants up pretty quickly. And it makes it hard to put in and take out. So why not just get some flat screws and, uh, you know, those screw holes you can chamfer a little bit and the flat heads will fit right in. It'll be nice. Let's all do that, shall we? Anyway, I don't mean to complain, and certainly not about this knife. It's on nylon washers that you can see, whoa, sorry about that. You can see pretty pretty readily, though the way I'm angled, the sun might not allow it, but uh, it is smooth, smooth as butter. I love this little knife. It's quickly becoming uh, my favorite back left pocket knife. Uh, however, my, my wife got got her hands on it and decided, uh, though it is still my knife in possession, uh, you know, it's my, part of my collection, I think she's going to be carrying and using it because she really likes the size and the weight. And she usually finds non-flippers difficult to, to deal with, but this hole and uh, the geometry here around the pivot is perfect for her. So this might be part of her daily carry. Also, begging for a lanyard. All right, well, there it is. It's your CRKT Piet, or Pete. And uh, I love this little knife. Thank you, Women Carry Knives.